You have made it to week 10. The fatigue of these early weeks may feel overwhelming right now, and the reality of this new life might still feel distant, almost abstract. But this week marks a profound turning point. A quiet, yet definitive, reassurance. In this quiet sanctuary, life prepares for its first breath. Because right now, a fundamental, defining change is taking place. It is a farewell. This is the week we say goodbye to the embryo and welcome the fetus. Your baby has now officially graduated from the most critical stage of development. This new title, fetus, comes from the Latin word for offspring or young one. The National Institutes of Health, or NIH, explains that by week 10, the embryonic period officially ends. All essential structures, from the smallest internal organs to the external limbs, are in place. The period of organogenesis, or the formation of organs, is finished. The primary risks from developmental abnormalities have now significantly passed. From this moment forward, your baby's primary task is simply to grow and to refine. As we move in closer to this 3D model, we can see just how much has been accomplished. The heart, which has been beating for weeks, is now fully formed and pumping vigorously, circulating blood to every part of this tiny body. According to the Mayo Clinic, other organs are also beginning their life's work. The liver is now busy producing red blood cells, a job the yolk sac once managed. The kidneys are starting to practice, passing small amounts of urine into the amniotic fluid. Even the stomach is producing digestive juices, preparing for a world it has yet to meet. Suspended in the digital womb, life begins its remarkable journey. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. And look here, at the hands and feet. The webbing that once exists between the digits has completely disappeared. Leaving behind ten tiny distinct fingers and ten tiny toes, each with a developing nail bed. If we could see the face, we would find eyelids. We now fused shut, a delicate shield protecting the developing eyes beneath. A tiny upper lip and nose have taken shape, and the buds for all twenty baby teeth are already forming within the gums. Here we find a moment of stillness observing the profound journey of emergence. Inside, a framework of cartilage is now hardening into true bone. The NIH calls this process ossification, and it marks the beginning of a true skeleton. It is the end of the most delicate phase, and the beginning of a new, protected journey of growth. The transformation is astonishing. Let all of this is happening in a space just over one inch long. This week, your little one is about the size of a prune. A sweet, tangible anchor 
to hold in your mind. As this new chapter of fetal development begins, as your baby enters this safer, more secure phase, and let's check in with you. If your nausea and fatigue have felt particularly intense, you are not alone. Many parents find that morning sickness actually peaks right around week 9 or 10. This is often due to the pregnancy hormone HCG, reaching its highest level in your body. It is a sign of a strong, developing pregnancy, but it can be incredibly draining. Be gentle with yourself, rest, stay hydrated, and eat what you can, when you can. The journey of care begins here, within this sacred space, we honor the caregiver within you. Now, for the most important message of all. With the embryonic stage complete, the greatest risks are now behind you. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, or ACOG, confirms that once a pregnancy reaches this 10-week mark and a heartbeat is seen, the risk of miscarriage drops dramatically. You have both done the hardest work. You can, perhaps for the first time, take a full, deep and reassuring breath. This milestone is often a moment of profound, quiet relief. Have you felt that shift this week? that first true sense of reassurance? We invite you to share your own moments of connection below. Next week, we will watch this tiny fetus begin a remarkable growth spurt as we continue our journey together in week 11.